Parents in the Forest Hills School District are concerned tonight after a fight this week at Nagel Middle School was shared on social media. And this is just one of several incidents there in that district recently. Local 12's Courtney Wheaton says the district, though, is taking action. And she's live tonight at the school with what's being done to fight this rise in teen violence there. Courtney, good evening. Good evening. Yeah, the superintendent just sent out a letter today and it was addressed to Nagel parents and families. It was really an action plan talking about more supervision and even police presence. But parents wonder if is this enough? Jenny Nolan is a Nagel parent. She says she's comforted that the district leaders are vowing to address the fighting. I think it's good that the um, superintendent is taking it seriously and is um, putting more measures in to keep the kids safe. Um, I think that's what the problem is with this school. It's huge. <laughs> it's hard to monitor. Some parents are calling on the district to allow them to volunteer in the schools and implement a watchdog program, an effort led by Chris Voda, who I talked to via social media. But some parents say that's not practical. It's like a vigilante thing. It's like, let's just bust in there and keep our kids safe. That's not the answer. I mean, I think school hopefully will have it under control and we'll just have more presence in the places where these kids keep getting in fights. In the letter sent out today, the superintendent says the principal at Nagel will implement strict consequences for students who arrive late to class and don't follow the cell phone policy along with adding more supervision, which Nolan hopes will help. Lately, it's been like I pick them up and I'm like, so what happened today? You know, so it seems to have kind of gotten that way. So hopefully it stops. So many different solutions to this problem. We're not sure which one will work yet, but I did talk to those parents who want to volunteer and they said they did talk to the Board of Education, but they haven't got an answer just yet. As soon as I know about that, I'll let you guys know. In Anderson, Courtney Wheaton, Local 12 News. Yeah, Courtney, we hope these new measures will hopefully put a stop to that fighting. Thank you so much. If you have a concern about bullying or fighting, the district is urging you to reach out. We'll have a link on the best way to contact that district on local12.com. Just click on this story once you're there.